Small snake, see, see, big snake, no, no. Repeat. Small snake, see, see, big snake, no, no. How is it going, guys? It's Chucky from Mad Battle Reptiles. And before we even start, I want to let you guys that down in the description, there's a link to my merchandise. And there's also a link for a reptile group called Reptile Lovers Galore. Uh, the guy asked me to shout them out because they are really friendly and only positivity in this group. So, yeah, check them out. Today we're gonna talk about feeder mice. Ah, uh, he's uh, that's tickling my neck. Hold up. Uh, oh. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about these little creatures. They're uh, of course they're. This is a mouse, and uh, people think they're dumb animals, but in reality they're really smart animals. They can actually be trained. They're really social animals. Uh, they deserve to be playing around, have food all the time. Is they're not just a uh, feeder animal, you know? Even though they're, uh, I breed them to feed to my animals. I know that. Deep down, they have emotions. They they have a, a life. They have a freaking life. They are a living organism just like any of my snakes and have more emotions than all of my snakes put together. So, yeah, I like to give them a really nice life even though they're going to die. And it looks messed up, but it's something... It's, it's fair. It's fair. They live a good life and they get to die because of nature, but... It's it's only fair to give them a good life. It's not good to just give them a little bit of space and just force them to breed and just you know like die after that like that's a sucky life but if they were cool they were friendly as you can see he's not even biting hissing at me or anything he's a pretty cool animal and rats are the same i grab my rats just like this well when i have them they're all now but whenever i have rats i handle them just like this i pet them i uh touch them around and things like that that's because i believe these animals uh deserve a lot more than what we give them um Mice are actually used in experiments uh, before they do things to humans. Uh, they are... Uh, people study their psychology, how they think, how they care for other mice, how they help each other, how they interact, how they help even other species sometimes when they're in captivity and trained. And it's, it's crazy how we get to treat these little animals like if they were just an ant. When they are a lot more than an ant, they have a lot more affection, a lot of more emotions. They care for each other. And that to me is crazy. It's it's pretty crazy. So as you guys can see, this is where I keep all of mine. Uh, I have logs and things for them to climb on. I have this little wheel that, that oh, nope, oh, okay. This little wheel where they run around and they look really cool. I clean this almost every day. That's why I keep it uh, as deep as I can so I can uh, last at least two days. Oh, they're fighting over there. So yeah, this is where I keep them. And breeding them is not even that hard. I'll let you guys know how I breed these animals. So how do you breed these mice? Uh, pretty much, you grab a female. And the way you know she's a female, you look under her. Come down, baby. Come down. Under her. You see uh, she has no ball sack. Can we call it ball sack on YouTube? Ball sack. Uh, so yeah, the, you grab a male. Which, of course, has a ball sack, as you guys can see right there. There's a huge. So, yeah, you have a female, a male. You put them together and you wait, have babies, and pretty much that's it. You have to keep uh, keep them with uh, fresh water all the time. Have uh, food for them all the time. They eat vegetables, fruits. There's, uh, there's a, a whole list of food that they can and cannot eat. So, look that up. Do your research. And... Yeah, just put them together and they will breed. Look at his ball sack right there. It's on my finger. Yeah, that's a male. You're a male, buddy. Now, when feeding to your snake, this size mouse, this is a, a full adults. These are adults right here. Feeding these to ball pythons is not okay. It's this, this is... This is a chicken wing a week. Like, what are you doing? You cannot feed just mice to your ball python, except if it's small, I guess, but then you have to switch it to rats with time, so might as well uh, feed it uh, baby rats. But yeah, this is more for like smaller snakes, or like corn snakes and things like that. So yeah, so there's a rule I'm gonna teach you guys right now. Are you guys ready? This is lesson number one. Mouse, small snake, see, see, big snake, no, no, repeat. Small snake, see, see, big snake, no, 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 Re repeat, big snake, no, 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 no. I prefer to have more than one female for one male, and that's just because I want more babies because I have a lot more animals that need to feed on these pinkies when they come out. We're, we're, okay, uh, I'm in trouble. He left. 
So yeah, I like to keep as many as I can just so I could feed all the animals and there's more babies and things like that. But I try to keep them as happy as I can. You know, they're friendly, they don't bite, they don't hiss at me or anything like that. They're amazing animals, super smart, super freaking smart. Even though they are having trouble to escape right now and they're in an open room, but yeah, they're super smart, I promise you. And one of them pooped on my hand. Yep. Now, a lot of people rather feed a uh, frozen thought and that's okay, but you can't have nothing against live feeding because it's torture, but it's nature. That's how the snake actually eats. The snake doesn't go around trying to find dead animals. They go and find live animals and that's a point to that. There's a reason for that and that's because they can sense the heat on them. That's why with frozen thought, you have to have them at a certain temperature so they can eat them. So if someone feeds them live animals, don't fight them. Don't argue with them. It's nature. Whatever happens, it happens and that's their animal. In my opinion, I feed both uh, live animals live and frozen thawed just because some of the animals don't take frozen thawed so i have a selection here of live animals and i hate killing them so i will not kill them because my snake needs to eat because i really don't like that example of the snakes that would eat of their babies would be this beautiful corn snake because she's not big enough to eat one of them of course and those i would not feed those to any uh of my snakes because those are pretty much like my pets. I would not do that, like grow them up and like, you know, like I don't, I don't, I just don't. Those are my pets. So this is one of the snakes that would eat uh, mice. This is CC. This is CC. Ha ha, CC. So remember when having these animals, think about them as emotional animals, intelligent animals. Take care of them. Give them time to play. Have little friends around. Not just breed, you know, like give them food every day. Give them water every day. Remember, intelligent animals, they know what's going on. They they starve. They have feelings. They feel sad. They feel angry. They feel uh they, they feel scared. Like treat them as any other animal and that's my positive message of the day like this video comment on this video subscribe to my channel subscribe twice tell your friends share the video and you'll win a million dollars i don't have that type of money you know just 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 do it please